Let's head back to the fictional town of August right now. Dark Knights. With Pearl and Monroe. Green with envy, eh? Call on line three. Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's mm. dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call then? Yes. Who is it? Hello? He will die if you let him. Frankie? The boy. The order you do things is important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen. She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. I don't like that, Poe. Me neither. And here's Yvette on line two. <laughs> I love your show. <laughs> Thanks, Yvette. I love your accents. What's your question? My question is, do you care about people? That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. But do we care about people? Yes, of course. Speak for yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. Hm. So you don't care about people? No, I do care about people, just I care about animals more. So you care about animals more than people? Present company excluded, of course. So that's a yes and a no. Wait one moment, of that. So if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you could only swerve and save one of us, you would choose the bunny? Bye-bye, bunny. I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> I said I'd save you. And how long did you have to think about it? <laughs> I like to consider things. You have a split second. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or a cat. Well, yeah, again. Well, yeah, obviously you. You, you said that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm not a big cat fan. <laughs> oh! Huh? What? Does that answer your question, Yvette? Yes, I think so. I do have another dilemma. Maybe we can help, Yvette. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. What? A hostage? He's a boy from August I. Why is he a hostage, Yvette? I had a crush on him, but he turned out to be unpleasant. So you kidnapped him? No, I drugged his drink. Is him. he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet, but... Now that I've spoken to you, I'm probably just going to let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. Yvette, I was joking with Monroe. Thank you for your help. Uh-oh. Did you get the number? No, it's withheld. Maybe she was joking. We should call the police just in case. Tell them what was said. Really? I'm not sure. Why? I know it's a sensible thing to do. But what if it isn't? How can it not be? If it is a prank, we'll be wasting police time. If it isn't... The, the police will take action. Yeah. This is the August police we're talking about here. That's two guys in DuPont drinking Dupont. coffee and watching YouTube. So? They're not busy then? So they're useless. The kid'll probably be dead by the time DuPont's finished his sandwich. I'm calling the police. Fine. But we still have to do something. What do you suggest? 
Good old fashioned murder mystery. Oh no, sorry, it's not, it's not murder mystery. Yesterday in the August update, <laughs> you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah, yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. Yvette? What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story to be run. I just got. A, Don't I, you want to go back to school? You so clearly had a better childhood than I did. I still have my cheerleading outfit. Yep, let's go. <laughs> That's settled then. Let's <laughs> talk to the headmistress <laughs> first. What's her name? Dallas Umber. That's a strange name. Like She's a strange woman. Take a seat, both of you. Whilst it's admirable that you're returning to complete your education, you're a little old for this institution. <laughs> Sorry, you're mistaken. I have a degree in cryptozoology. That's not a real degree. <laughs> it's okay, Paul. <laughs> She's messing with us. Really? Yes. I'm eccentric. Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, well, we're here about Joseph Watts. And there was I thinking I was going to be on the radio. Joseph is a pupil here though, right? He certainly is. Head boy and heartbreaker. Heartbreaker? He's a good looking lad. Generous nature, always helping people. Any idea where he could have gone? Well, probably at some young lady's house whose parents are away. He went missing yesterday and we had a caller on Radio August who said they'd kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Oh, sounds a bit far-fetched. We're looking for him. So anything you can tell us would be useful. You'd be better off talking to his form tutor, Miss Clay, but... Whistle? Well... I'm gonna blow a whistle for no reason. Nice whistle. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have a specific <laughs> question? It's nothing to do with anything. What are you using? I just wanted to click the shiny oh, thing. It makes a noise. I know, but for running or sports. Do you know how hard it is to keep teens with raging hormones in line? Hard? Well, less hard with a whistle. It's like Pavlov's dog. Blow it, and they know something bad is coming. Do you know any pupils called Yvette? Not recently. Why, are you looking for someone called Yvette? It's the name of the kidnap. And by recent, you mean? Well, I was at school with an Yvette, but that was many moons ago. Not in August. Different country, actually. Well, we should be off now. Here's my number, if Joe turns up, or if you think of any place he might be. Thank you, Mrs. Amber. It's Miss Amber. Miss Amber. <clears throat> you too, take care. August's not the town it used to be. She looked like the father thing, but I just wanted to take the whistle. What's our next move, Munro? Who did she say Joe's teacher was again? Miss Clay. If we can find her address, we should visit her. I think she's staying at the guest house. Why do you think that? I'm worried about what Frankie said. Is this the right move? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's go Find and out. see Miss Clay. And hope she's at the guest house. I like making the decisions. I'm very happy to be woman led. I know you are, Poe. I'm gonna talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. Why don't I talk to Miss Gallagher and you find Miss Clay? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. <laughs> How do we know Miss Clay isn't a red? I'll do Clay. I mean. Not literally. Thank you for seeing me, Miss Clay. Not anything to oh, help. I mean, I would. But, uh, we had an sorry. anonymous call at the radio station. A girl called Yvette claims to have kidnapped Joseph Watts. Really? I knew he'd gone missing. I didn't realize he'd been kidnapped. We're not entirely sure yet. And Yvette? Mm, no, that's not anyone at the school I'm aware of. Is there anything you know that might help us find him? Uh, I've only been at the school a couple of months myself. I'm still feeling my way round. Okay. Sometimes it's better. <laughs> well, you, if you know, don't know is a think. Really? 
Yes. <laughs> so, word association. Oh, um, I'm not sure. August. Uh, magic. Huh. Magic, that's good. Good. <laughs> School. August High. Joseph Watts. Litterbug. A litterbug? Oh, sorry, um, that just came out. <laughs> no, that, that's fine, that, that's good. Why litterbug? I, I saw him drop a sweet wrapper once. Haven't been able to let it go, apparently. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Thanks for trying. Oh, that's totally okay. I really hope you find him. Thanks, Miss Clay. This is a lovely guest house room, I might add. Is there anything else I can help you with, Mr. Pope? Pope? How would you describe yourself? Well, I'm just a run-of-the-mill substitute teacher. A bit of a tree hugger. I generally don't settle in any one place for too long. Mm. I guess I like adventure. So you're not she planning on him. leaving anytime soon? Am I a suspect, Mr. Pope? Uh, no, but yes, I think it she is. would be suspicious. Well, do you she doesn't want like to leave that you're um, No, it's my home, and I have a family here. Oh, so um, your partner on the radio, uh, Munro, she's your wife? Um, no, we're just partners. But you are married? Yep. Yeah. Yes, with children. Oh, such treasures. <laughs> Will they be virtuous, or will they suck the planet dry and spit it out again? My eldest is 12, so... <laughs> too early to look after the environment, Mr. Pope. I'm sure they're doing their bit. <laughs> well, you've been most useful, Miss Clay. Brilliant. Have a good evening. I do hope you find Joe. Thank you. Well, I didn't okay. get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litterbug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. How was Miss Gallagher? Kinda dominant. I liked her. Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Well, let's circle back to this later. Did she say anything useful at all about Joe? She said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. I we could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it Pardon? up, Ellis. I'm trying. The headmistress, then? Miss Gallagher? Let's go and talk you can to go Gallagher. on your own if you want to talk oh. to Miss Gallagher again. Why can't I talk to her? Okay, bye. Oh, uh, bye then. I see. I suppose I should visit Miss Clay, then. I've already done that. I've broken the game. <laughs> I've broken it. Oh, Back okay. again, Miss Monroe. something, fair enough. Yes. How did you know? I have ears and a gravel driveway. And I saw your reflection in the window. <laughs> We've hit it dead end with Joe. Oh dear. Want to drive? Okay. Sure. You're quite handy, aren't you? I have my uses. I wish you'd come for a chat earlier. I was laying screed in the garage. Screed? Cement flooring. Wish I'd got the self-leveling stuff now. <laughs> Hiding bodies. <laughs> Don't be silly. If I was going to do that, I'd use my industrial grade meat mincer. I probably shouldn't eat here. <laughs> oh, no, you should. <laughs> We've always got plenty of fresh meat in the freezer. Perks are running a guest house, I guess. <laughs> Have you talked to Westmarie Bolton? Haven't even heard that name. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't you have a dishwasher anyway? I did. He's under the screed. <laughs> 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 I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> I'd go see Wes Marie. Seventeen Hunger Lane. Perhaps Joe was one of the missing she talked about. Let's hope not. Miss Clay doesn't seem to know about anything, unless it's an eco issue. Maybe you're just not prodding her in the right places. You're welcome to talk to her too. We don't have time, Paul. The good news is Miss Gallagher gave me a name. Wesmarie Bolton. 
Let's Excellent. Go. And the address to go with? Hunger Lane. Off Beaconsfield Drive. I know it. Let's go. Let's go! People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. We do. We want to hear about Joe Watts. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. It's Miss Clay. She ran this after school club, Green for Life. I was in it. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. What? I did it. It was me. I made the list. It's outrageous. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. No. You have to help him, you need to. It's okay. We're gonna help. You just need to take a breath. She'll have him in the woods. At Hell Park. You have to hurry. She'll kill him if they do pay. A ransom? His parents. He is being ransomed. If they pay, she'll donate the money to charity. It's sick. It's gone too far. And what if they don't pay? I don't know. I love when I saw it. What did you see, Westmarie? It's clay. Mom? She was turning him into trees. A dryad. <laughs> a what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. It's quite quick into believing that. Go. <laughs> How, Park? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. We're gonna save Joe. You wait here and we'll be back. Really good setting. Joe! That's amazing, that wood. Joe? Colours are amazing as well. Joe! Yo, Joe! Where are you, dude? Joe! Joe! Oh. <gasps> no way, dude. We're too late, Alice. No. No. Oh, this is is that my fault? fault? Is that my fault? That guy's dead. Is that because I went to the wrong place? What is that me? I don't know. What did I do wrong? He wasn't eaten. He he was murdered. Oh man, I we can't. think Miss Clay had something to I do think with that's that. my fault, dude. She's the one the police should be finding. Do you have her voice recorded? Oh, mate, I'm yes. sorry. We record all incoming calls. Do the police have it? I already sent it over. I'm sure they're working on it. Oh, I think that was my fault. Oops. <laughs> sorry. I guess I'd better go and identify Joe's body. Uh, what, what, whatever's left of him. Sorry about Joe, mate. I'm sorry. August wolves pretty much eat anything. Why would you say that? <laughs> there was a whole school bus of children and... Poe, I think you can save that story for another time. <laughs> of course. Sorry. We're sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm sorry, we'll dude. We'll see ourselves out. Is that because I did something wrong? Sorry. <laughs> Frank, he gave us a warning. Did he know? I'm having a hard time with this whole Frankie thing. Where do you think Miss Clay is? No one can find her. I knew it was her. Far away I from all it was. I should imagine. 
I feel responsible. I literally said Don't. she's obviously res Oh my god. It's not like you made all the decisions that led to Joe's death. If they ever invent a time machine, I'm coming back and I'm saving Joe. Good luck with that. Maybe he was always doomed. That's oh. gloomy. Fate and destiny, Monroe. It can't always be changed. I do we think I got Joe killed. That was either. Some things will always remain a mystery, Monroe. What did I do wrong? Is it because I chose the the whistle rather than the, the I folder? I only did it for a laugh. Un moment, maman. J'ai fait mes devoirs. Where's the headmistress? No, it can't be. Oh, it's her. Who's the headmistress though? Because she said she was saw her in a different country. Is she related to it or not? Next time on Dark Nights. So that was the whole time. We have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Mm. Monroe, are you ready to meet your mm. past self? I was born ready. I'm Elizabeth. That's oh. what you were going to ask, isn't it? Dr. Decker. Pearl and Monroe. That was Dr. Decker's office. What's, what happened there? Uh, yeah, yeah. You chose to see Violet with Monroe. I chose Miss Clay, right. Uh... I think I got that guy killed. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> hmm. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.